Last weekend, I went to the park. And while I was there, I observed many different living and non-living things. So here's your question. What non-living things did I observe while I was at the park? What are the non-living elements of this ecosystem? Take a minute, discuss that with your classmates, then I'll be back to talk about the answer. Every ecosystem, including this park, are full of non-living resources. And even though these resources aren't alive, they're still very, very important. Some non-living things are easy to identify in this picture, like water, sand, and soil, and rocks. These are all non-living resources. There are some that are harder to see, even though you know that they're there, like the air which contains the carbon dioxide and oxygen that plants and animals need. And even the light and warmth from the sun is incredibly important to everything that lives in the ecosystem, but the light and the warmth themselves are non-living resources. There are even some non-living resources that used to be alive, like the dead and decaying branches that have fallen from the trees. It's very important that you can identify the non-living elements in an ecosystem, but I'm sure that these are things that you and your classmates came up with. So keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time. Uh -huh.